Chapter 3 Creating Projection Create a new composition Increase the shadow map resolution to 4000 to allow for the best quality. It is very important that you follow these three steps. First of all, find and adjust the camera. Second of all, select the camera and image and create a projection. And lastly, specify the number of copies and press pre-compose. If you follow these three steps and you did it right, then here's what you should get. There are six hidden layers in each composition. This animation camera is parented to this one, I call it Anim Camera. Helper Grid. Projection image is where you can change the projection image. This is the main projector. Projector camera lets you see the original frame in order to generate correct position. This is the original image, and it lets you see what's happening in the scene. Okay, now let's create a scene. Create a new composition. Drag the image into the comp. And press Find Camera. Find the correct camera position. Scale the grid along the entire photo. Increase shadow map resolution to 4000 for a better quality. Now press Create Projection. In our projection, there's an environment and a car in the foreground. This means that we need two copies of the projection. But what we'll do is we will copy it three times, just in case. We can remove the third one anytime we want. Press Recompose. Specify the number of copies. Double-click on Projection Scene 3. Use the Create Solid Using Helper Grid Properties function to create an environment. Okay, now we need to remove the car from the photo. Removing the car from the photo in Photoshop. Select the car using Lasso Tool. Go to Edit slash Fill or press Shift plus F5 on the keyboard and choose Content Aware. Restore the road and fill with the Clone Stamp tool.
place the main image on top? If you're satisfied with what you did, save the image. Select Projection Scene 3 and press Replace Projection Image. Select the image you have just created in Photoshop. Rename Projection Scene 3 to BG and Projection Scene 2 to Car. Now let's create a car. We'll add a plane primitive only to generate the position of the car, which is why I'm going to make the layer invisible. Generate a position. And create a cube. Put it where you want it to be. And reduce the size of the car. Okay, let's animate the scene. Alright. Now we need to mask the car. And then animate the mask.
Okay, the scene is ready. You can finally render it and see the result. Another example. Import the image, create a new solid, and start masking. Add the depth of your preference and hit Extrude. Press Find Camera and adjust the position of the model. Scale the model along the Z axis. Select both the camera and the image and press Create Projection. Increase shadow map resolution to 4000 for a better quality. Then press Precompose button, number of copies, and make it 2. You can switch to Custom View 1 if it feels more convenient. Now, create a plane primitive and change its orientation. Scale it. Great! Now you can animate the camera. And we're done. Here's the final result. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.